Whoa. Couldn't have planned that if I tried. <laughs> I tend to work pretty quick. I don't, uh, especially with gesture drawings, I don't put a lot of a lot of time into making things super accurate. It's just more about the feeling and the the vibe that comes from it, which is pretty fun. Putting in a bit more shadows and kind of filling in those those shapes a bit more. All right, I'll give you a bit of a comparison shot there. Just kind of really wanted to, as I mentioned, lay out the anchor points, which for me are generally the head, the shoulders, and the hips. Um, the legs here are pretty fun because they're just so ridiculously long. <laughs> uh, and I kind of wish I had a bit more, uh, left a bit more highlight for the jewelry. Um, but again, I think it's pretty, pretty fun. And definitely check out Pasha Pasha on this book New York. It's, uh, it's a beautiful Instagram feed and, uh, and the, the artwork there is phenomenal. It's really, really cool laying out a piece uh, using kind of diluted acrylic so it'll be a similar technique to to watercolor but uh, it won't actually be watercolor uh, but I'll use ink and whatnot to bring out the, uh, the highlights and the details later on once things kind of dry out so I'm just gonna grab my board and get started with that so for this one this is uh, Arches um, Paper, so it's really built and designed for this type of artwork. I'm just going to use a 6B pencil just to kind of sketch in and kind of lay out where I want things to go. I did a sketch um, a while back. I'm not sure if this is going to translate well, but kind of the layout and where I kind of wanted things to go. Um, so this piece has actually uh, been commissioned uh, by my mom. So she wanted this uh, painting for her for her new space, which is really her own space for the first time in her life. It's pretty exciting. And uh, she's got it full of lots of color and things like that. So this is a painting of where we grew up. Uh, and we grew up kind of like on a salt marsh in a small little village in New Brunswick. And uh, she said uh, after my dad passed away that she was out in the yard and then all these butterflies were kind of in that area. So she really wanted uh, something to represent that. Uh, and and left that up to me. So after being in a new space and kind of figuring what where this is going to live, uh, which is how I tend to work, kind of see where the artwork's going to live, what the story is behind it, and then come up with a sketch, uh, work with, with who the client is, and kind of go from there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be sketching this out a bit, and I can walk you through some of the concepts and kind of lay out what things are as well. So generally... I kind of just like to bring in the skyline and that's just pretty simple. And then from where we lived, you could, excuse me, look into like, there's like a little fishing village across the way. And then a little beach out this way that had a bizarre um, cemetery on it. <laughs> way back when the settlers came uh, and it's actually still in like really great shape. It's pretty pretty crazy being that close to the uh, the Bay of Fundy, but so I used to play in these <laughs> in the salt marsh a lot, uh, but always fair warned of like uh, don't get your rubber boots stuck or you might not come back out. So I have a a healthy fear, I guess, of, uh, of the salt marsh and the animals that kind of live in there too, because uh, 
I probably also have a healthy fear of otters and whatnot too, but some pretty crazy wildlife growing up in hindsight. It was pretty, pretty magical to kind of see some of the animals that would be there throughout the year, like rare birds and snow egrets and moose, deer, bear, foxes, and uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, eventually the plan is to have a second angle, so if you're tired of looking at me, you can just look directly at the air, which is probably ideal. This is a pretty potent blue. So I'm going to add a bit of white to it. So I want this pretty wet, uh, just so it'll thin out nicely. Just give that feeling of some motion in the sky too. This is the best I can do right now, Andrew. This is Stanley. I'm gonna say hi, Stan. Uh, this is a washed out acrylic, Jonas. Um, so I'm just kind of similar technique to watercolor, but it's I'm not using watercolor paints. I'm just trying to go really like loose and free and just kind of like make all this grass look like it's moving and alive. Yeah, Stanley's pretty handsome. Um, how did he get his name? He had a few names. Uh, gosh, I can't remember the first one they had. Uh, and then it just, just seemed to fit. Um, yeah, he's just uh, a regal little gray lion. <laughs> I get made fun of a lot because I gush about them, but hey. So at this stage, I'm kind of done blocking in my colors and want this to dry actually so I can kind of take on the next phase so I'm gonna move away from from this one for now um, and I'll come back to it next week when the, the next show is happening but I'm gonna work on another piece that is acrylic based um, and kind of just show how I like to do portraits it's kind of a new well new to me it's not a super new style but it's 
one I quite like. <laughs>